Hello the internet! It is Friday the 8th of November 2019. Wow! I came down here to Crookhaven Heads to once again escape the westerly. You see it blowing out over the ocean right there. Escape that westerly wind, it's just tucking over the top. Unfortunately, what I didn't factor in was the summer flies. How many freaking flies are attacking me right now? What's going on here? I'm gonna sit up here, get a better view. It's beautiful down here, except for these flies, but this is part of the uh, summer Australia. However, it's still spring. These flies have hatched early, and I gotta persist with it. It's beautiful down here, minus the flies. Now, what I came down here for today, the waves of spring, right? My best waves of spring. Now, I've just surfed the entire month of October. That's the middle month of spring in Australia. If you didn't catch that surfing action, every single day I made a vlog. And I'll put a little link up here to the playlist of that wave a day for the whole month. Get out of here, get him out of here. But what I wanna do here today is walk you through the best of those waves, so one, one or two waves per day. These are the best ones that I thought, so let's begin at the start. What a great place to begin. The season began with a full tide, like a high tide, and unfortunately the waves were pretty difficult, but I managed to pump on one and ride it as best as I could. <laughs> Two presented the same conditions as day one, or very similar conditions, but me, I cooked it and, <laughs> and ate a fly. I cooked it and fell off potentially the best wave I would have otherwise got. These flies, right? For that on day three though, I got my best wave and I didn't even get my hair wet. Ha! Shine like a ghost in a dream. Burn like a solar The swell dropped, not so great, but I managed to get a little bit of a floater going here. On the end of the world. That didn't last long though, the swell got larger the next day, and I managed to kook this wave. I didn't quite get under the face of it, but it was a nice wave. Somewhat strangely, the swell dropped again the following day, but I did manage to take this wave all the way to the beach. Can't see the horizon. Seven rolled around, and this was my first chance to really work the left. My left does need work. Sail into the tranquil sea. Disengage the centrifuge. I'll be The swell got large again, but unfortunately I didn't really use an angel on my takeoff. I need to, I go straight down sometimes, I need to really hammer it off to the side. I gotta think about that. I tried really hard on this wave to get close to where the barrel might be, but I failed. Now, 
day 10, wow, day 10 will go down in my history books as the largest swell I've ever been out in. I duck dived under three waves that were easily the biggest mamas I've ever encountered. I also took a wipeout and donged my arm up pretty bad. The swell was still large, a little bit less than yesterday, but I managed to get this ride. Again, I kind of missed the spot where the barrel potentially might have been, but it was a fast wave. Thankfully on day 12, the swell got a bit cleaner, it stayed kind of large but got a bit cleaner. I tried to stay on the top of this left, but I failed. I really want to work on carving waves, like really putting my edge in on the wave and, and getting a rail. Kind of like skateboarding when you dig your heels in, you dig your toes in, you do a big carve. The swell, to Far out. The swell today was big and full on a high tide. That was a perfect opportunity to try carving this wave. And day 14 just proved to me that I need a lot of help on my lefts. My lefts suck, a lot of help. I may, maybe I need a bigger wave as well, that could be the thing, a larger wave, more power. I've got to get more snappy with my turns. I've got to do them faster and snappy. This was a good try though. Day 16 gave a small swell, unfortunately. The wave was clean, but I'd like a bigger, a bigger face to really hit. This is a nice right hander though, a bit small. of the world I'm falling from the edge of Well if day 16 was small, day 17 was even smaller Kind of sucked, there was no waves I took a shore break just to get my wave a day and I landed right on the sand, it was pretty lousy <laughs> Thankfully by the next day the swell picked up again and I managed a nice little right hander. Can't see the horizon line. I feel like right here on this wave, on day 19, I feel like I really worked the wave as best as I could. I trimmed it up and down, I managed to keep speed. It was a small wave, but I really worked the best I could on this wave, if I don't mind tooting my own trumpet. <laughs> Bacteria free. Gravity makes me me. Sailing to the tranquility. And I know, I know, I've got to stay high on the wave to generate speed, but unfortunately on this wave, I stayed so high, I rolled over the back of it. My biggest goal, 
My biggest goal with surfing is to one day get into a barrel. And I feel like today might have been the closest I've been. Now something that people have been telling me is, at the end of my waves, instead of just falling off into the white water, I should try to finish the wave. So on day 22, I practiced cutting out a waves at the end of the ride instead of just falling down. I also continued working that on day 23. On day 24, the swell picked up again, and I took a pretty nasty wipeout up front, but then I managed to get a good wave, so it was all worth it. Day 25, day 25, hands down, the greatest swell conditions of the entire season. I got so many waves, I'm gonna put a few in here because they were really fun, really great. pumped up from day 25 that on day 26 I came back to the exact same break, same sandbar. Conditions were not the same though and it kind of sucked. <laughs> So on day 27, I went back to practicing those carbs I was mentioning, and I think I did sort, sort of decent here. Wow, what is with sea mist? The mist that comes off the sea. Well, today, that mist rolled in it was a strange conditions, but I really managed to work the left. And not surprisingly, that sea mist stuck around for day 29, so I went straight back to that left bank and tried working those calves again. Day 30, a north northeasterly, the worst wind here in Kolbara Beach, comes in directly off there and blows right over the land, makes everything flat and sucky, and it was terrible out there. Potentially the worst day of a wave day spring edition, and this is the best I could get. <laughs> Unfortunately, day 31, the very next day, that north northeasterly was 
howling down. It was terrible. I managed to get one little lousy left, and this is the way the season concludes, unfortunately. What a downer. So there you go, that is my Waver Day Spring Edition 2019. I want to do a little pause here and say another thank you to my sponsors, Global Surf Industries for surfboards, Ars and Wetsuits for wetsuits, and Bell Surf Wax for wax. In the description right here, you can see these products. If you want to pick up your own 7S Superfish version 4, Linky Poo in the description. If you want to pick up your own Ars and Wetsuit, 5% off with a linky poo in the description. If you want to pick up your own Bell Surf Wax, linky poo in the description. By the way, I mentioned that north northeasterly billowing straight in. You can see, look at this angel of where we're looking here. All the way down to Kalbara Beach here, pretty much in that sort of middle section of the sand is kind of where, where my break is. When the northeasterly blows, it obviously comes straight in off here and just blows all the way down straight onto the beach right there. That's why the north northeasterly is the worst wind. Now today, it's a westerly, so it's kind of blowing, holy crap, these flies, it's blowing straight over this headland. Pah! Did that go in my mouth? Yum yum, fly! It blows straight over this headland and out to sea. So in theory, there is actually a little secluded spot here at the northern end of the beach, which is good for surfing. Ah. And speaking of flies, I've just found why there are so many flies here. A massive dead skippy, a kangaroo, right here, decaying, rotting, smelling, flies attracting. Let's go and have a look at it right now. Oh, that's um, we're out of time! I know, I know, I know, I keep running out of time on my own channel. You think I'd get that checked out by now, right? Hey look, if you like what you've seen here on the channel and you want to contribute financially, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you haven't done this already and you want to make sure you don't miss any of my future uploads, hit the subscribe button here. You can also check out my previous vlog here or a random vlog there. And you can become a patron of mine here. What's that? No, 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 I'm busy with my end slate. I'm busy with my end slate. I'll be with you in a few seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds is all I require. All right, I'm coming now.